Hey folks, uh, got a Ford Ranger here. It has a foam steering wheel and a lot of it is worn through and they're getting some gaps and all that kind of stuff in it. So I'm gonna go flip you around here and all this is worn through, you can hear it and feel it. So all that's worn through. The texture is gone, the grain is gone. Over here is okay, but down here you get it again. Right here really badly. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to these are one of my graining pads. So we have all these different graining pads here. I'm gonna find the, gra the grain that matches this the most closely. And then I'm going to re-stamp it so that looks like it's there. Um, I'm gonna heat the panel using a little blow, uh, little blow torch, miniature blow torch, one of these guys. And I'll basically melt this back down and then press in I'll melt the panel here and then I'll press in my grain kind of like that right so it'll and it'll retexture this area so I'll go ahead and show you what I mean um, I apologize it might not work out perfectly because you, you have to do it pretty quickly and I'm doing everything one-handed here so I'm gonna do the best that I can for you so you can see it there so you can see it melting out there okay there you go we take the grain, press it on. So as you can see, sorry, this grain pad has a little bit of leftover material on it. But as you can see, the, the texture, all that grain is back into it, right? So we're gonna keep going around the steering wheel and I'll keep showing you guys as I go around. Um, and uh, so we just did just did this part. So now we're gonna go here, okay? Melt it down, make it bubble up a little bit like that. Take the grain, stamp her in. You see that, guys? So I still have to do some more back here, obviously, but the grain is back in there, starting to starting to look like a new steering wheel again. Um, so I'm just gonna make my way around. Go to the next one right here, okay? Get it to bubble, take the grain, stamp it on. And there you go. Okay, so what I'll do is I will go around the whole steering wheel like that, then I'll bring you guys back in. Basically, we should probably, we're still, probably still gonna have some damage just because this is so rough. Um, these deeper spots are still gonna be that way. So then I'll use a little bit of a spray texture and fill that in. Uh, and then we will have essentially a brand new looking steering wheel. All right guys, stay tuned. All right, back again, just real quick. I just wanted to show you, I just stamped out. So there's this whole worn area here, right? And I actually just stamped in this part. So you can see the big difference, right guys? It's all messed up. And then all of a sudden you get the grain back in and it looks great. So I'm gonna try and show you that, that spot really quickly next spot here and there you are all right so there's grain back in there again we're just going to keep working our way down pressed in the grain as much as I can do here uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and clean the area and I'll do a spray texture over the top now uh, and uh, then we should be looking pretty good. Okay guys, so we're gonna be using Sims Texture Coat. Um, you always want to do some test sprays with this first to get your pattern down. So make sure it's spraying nicely. Okay, you want to stay as far back as possibly as you possibly can. When you're using this, if you're up close, see it, it'll bunch up on you. If you're, if you're far, you get a nice clean dusting, which gives you a nice clean, consistent pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying it down.
Again, guys, this is a DIY video. So I'm just gonna be using Duplicolor's vinyl and fabric paint. Um, we actually use some leather, specific leather and vinyl dyes that we have um, that we actually mix up for specific colors. But for this video's purpose, uh, we're just gonna be showing you how you can do this easily on your own. So we're just gonna be using that. And here we go. Again, same thing, check your spray pattern. All right guys, so you remember all the damage that was on here. All the texture was gone and all that kind of stuff, all the graining. And now we have brought it back to life. So uh, there's a little bit of stuff here, a little bit right there. But overall, um, I'm actually gonna go back and do that spot again, spray a little more texture on there. Uh, and then it's good to go. All right, so for the graining pads, we have those uh, specific on our site, but if you want, you can just go to a fabric and vinyl, like a vinyl and fabric store, um, and find something, uh, 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 a fabric that has the similar texture, cut out a piece, and just heat it and, and, and you know, clamp it. Just be careful, sometimes you can uh, heat it up quite a bit and it actually gets pretty hot, so just don't burn yourself when you're doing it. Uh, you know, I, I do this for a living, so we, we are very careful with it when you're doing it as a DIY or just make sure you're careful. Take your time and uh, do the best job you can. All right guys, have a good one.